Hello guys, welcome to our channel. This is the Larry. So if you're ready to learn about HTML, let's check this out. Here we are on my desktop and we're going to create an HTML website directly on my computer. On my desktop, I'll right click and let's go down to new. At the very top of this menu, let's click on folder and this places a new folder on my desktop. I'll title it Mix Big and Juicy Corn Dog Website. Then let's click into this folder. This opens up a file explorer. Within this menu, we see the option for file name extensions. Make sure that there is a check mark next to this. Let's now right click and within this menu, let's go to the new and then let's select text document. This now places a new text document. And because we turn on file name extensions, you'll see that the extension is .txt. Now we want to create an HTML file, so let's select all of this and in place of this text, let's type in index.html. Look at that! We're creating a very first HTML file. Let's now click away. And when we click away, we get a dialog telling us that we're changing the file name extension and that the file might become unusable. That sounds scary, but we just click on yes. As soon as we do that, you'll now notice a logo appears next to the file name. Let's click on this and there. As you can see, there's nothing written on it. It's because I have an encode and it's completely black. So I'm going to open the notepad and drag the HTML file into it. As I drag the HTML file into the notepad, the title changed from untitled to index.html. Next, let's go to the format and click the word wrap to make and wrap the text to the next line when it reaches the end of a line or a specified margin. Now, let's type our company name which is Mix Big and Juicy Corn Dog and I'm going to paste my details or description about my company just below the title. Then, I click on save and refresh the HTML file. Wow! The text is continuous. The title isn't that big and bold to catch the eye of a person. The description is way too not good but we can fix that. We can add tags in order to indicate the beginning and end of an HTML element in an HTML document. So, in the title, let's enclose it with these HTML tags. So the company turns into a header and the description is now smaller than the header which what I wanted. This time, let's add these tags to enclose the subheader. I'll save it and refresh the file. There it is! It is finally catchy. Next is the description. I'll type these tags to highlight it. I'll save it and refresh the file. Next in the description, let's enclose the first letter until the last period of the paragraph with these tags. Next, I'll add some additional so the purpose of it is to let the people know how thus our company stands out. I'll paste it and save it and refresh it. Hmm, I want this to be in a bullet form. So, I want this to be bold. I'll enclose the sentence with these tags. Then, I want this format in my notepad to be like in my HTML document and add bullets to each of these sentence list. But how can that happen? So, I'm going to type this tag, which means unordered list. Then, I will encode this tag, which means listing item, right beside of the first letter of my sentence. Also, I want this phrase to be underlined so that it will catch the eye of the viewer. I'll type this tag right after the listing item tag and until before the colon. Don't forget to close this set of sentences by typing this tag so that the listing item format will work. Do the same process as the first one to the rest of the sentences. I'll save it and refresh it. There! Wait! Why this sentence does not have a bullet and isn't underlined? Wait! I'll end this listing items with this tag, which means to close the unordered list tag. So let's go back to our problem. Oh, okay, I found out that it didn't close the li tag with a greater than sign. I'll type it, save it, and refresh it. Now there, it's finally fixed. Now, let's add the ingredients. I'm just going to copy and paste the ingredients and save it. I'm gonna refresh it. So there, as you could see that this is like what we did from the previous one, right? But before we proceed to the list of ingredients, let us first make this brace to be our third header so that it will be recognized by the viewer. I'll enclose this brace with these tags. So, click save and refresh it again. And there! Now let's go to the list of ingredients. I'm going to make this word ingredients bold by enclosing this with these tags. After that, 
I am going to type the start of the unordered list tag at the top and end the list with this unordered list tag. Next, I'll enclose each ingredient with these listing items tags. Now, click save and refresh it. As you can see that the format of my ingredients is finally listed properly. Now, we add the procedures. Let's type and enclose the word procedures with these bold tags. Then, I'll copy and paste what I have written about my procedures. This time, since it is procedures, let's arrange it by ordered number. I'll type this tag in the start of the step-by-step -step sentences and at the end of it. These tags means ordered list. Now, I'll enclose each step-by-step -step sentences by these listing item tags. Click save and refresh it. Look at that. We have finally listed the procedures orderly, but I wanted to highlight the leading or the important praise of each steps. So I'll enclose this praise with these bold tags and I'm going to add some bullets to these sentences, which is related to the first step. But before I type the listing item tags, I'll add the unordered list tag just below the bold praise. After this, I'll add and enclose each sentences that are related to the first step by these listing item tags. I'll save it and refresh it. Wow! As you could see, every step in the procedures lost their numbers and was changed into bullets. That is because I haven't closed the first step with an unordered list tag. I'll add this tag right after the last sentence of the first step, save it, and refresh it again. And there! This is what I wanted to happen. So, I'll do the same process to the rest of the steps. Then, click save and refresh the page. And there, look at that, we have finally arranged each steps orderly. Hmm, it's a little bit plain or simple if I didn't add the history of my company. So, I'll copy and paste what I have written about it. I'll paste first the subtitle and enclose it by these tags. After this is to add the paragraphs. I'm going to type the paragraph tag and copy and paste all of the details. Now, I'll enclose each paragraph by this paragraph tag. Click save and refresh the page. Look at that! We have now our history or the story behind the company. Let's scroll to the very top. I want to add my company's logo above the content. So, I'll type or encode this tag. Image source and add quotation marks which included here is the image file name. I'll save and refresh it. So, as you could see, there is only the image logo, not the literal image logo of mine, but that's okay. Next, I'll add within these tags is the alt equals quotation marks, and within these quotation marks, I'll type the desired name of my image. Click save and refresh the page. And there, now we have a name for my image. What if we create a link and there where we put our ingredients and procedures? I'll just copy and delete this. Then, between these paragraphs, I'll type, learn how to cook corn dog with mixed recipe. I'll save and refresh this page. Oh, by the way, for additional info, I'll tell you what is hyperlink. Creating a hyperlink allows you to embed a clickable link within text or an image, directing users to another web page, file, or email address. This makes it easier for viewers to access additional information or navigate between different resources. As you can see, it isn't a hyperlink and it is just an ordinary text. It's because I haven't encoded the hyperlink tag. I'll enclose this phrase within these tags. This code creates a hyperlink with the anchor text that links to the URL myrecipe.html and opens in a new window. But first, let's create a new text document. I'll rename it myrecipe.html. Just click on yes, just like what we did at first. Then I'll click on this. So as you could see, it's empty. Well, we just opened my notepad and dragged this new file into it. Look at that. The title changed into myrecipe.html, so I'll just paste what I have copied before. Next, I'll open the other page. I'm going to save this and refresh this page. 
Let's now go back to our main page. Oh wait, I think I lost my first text. Don't worry, we're going to just drag this file into my notepad. After this is that, I'll save this and refresh the page. I'm going to minimize the notepad app and maximize the page. Now there, we have now our hyperlink. Let's click on this and we are directed into another page. And let's click this arrow at the top to go back to the main page. And there, we have finally created an HTML file. I hope you learned from this tutorial. Thank you.